Start. <laughs> Get the city working and then worry about building it up. So, we'll put that road in. Is there an undo button? Just bulldoze that. Oh, come on! Stop doing the wrong thing! Zone that for residential. That is an industrial. Just gonna get a little bit of everything in here now. That's that one. I need a commercial zone, so let's put that one up. Now I need to get power and water in. Let's not leave that till too late. We've still got 56,000. Oh, I haven't named it yet, have I? Let's name it. Simon Lund, to pay your power lines. <laughs> Thank you very much, Simon. Can I get some GGs for Simon, please? Thank you very much. Right, now, let's put that in. And power lines from there, across to there. We'll wait for something to appear down there. I need to put a water tower in. It's sewage plant down here. We pipes from here. Not there. And then 
put a link in from there. Main. Sewage is in but not powered. I need to fix that. Sewage is in and powered. Right, so. How are we doing? Got power in, water's in. I do need to bring a water drop down there. And another one down there. do for water. So we've got water, water everywhere. We've got residential place that needs power. That should power them up. Hope the water's going in the right direction. I wouldn't have a clue. It's something else that I'm sure I'll mess up a bit later on, and uh, and then we'll figure that out. Let's make sure you're powered up this time. Are you happy? It's just still got 28,000 this time, and we've got houses appearing. Let's get the next road in and get some more houses in. more houses. Got a lot of demand for residential zones, so let's give them what they want. Check everything's got water. It doesn't put water down there. Nothing's complaining. got residences coming in, commerce coming in. What's wrong with this industrial zone? Oh, we've got something coming in there. situation. Right, what I'm going to do is put a water feed there and a water feed there just to make sure that all those squares are filled in. Name the city Nappyville. <laughs> What have we got demand for? Industry or offices? Oh, 
done them, so let's put those in. Let's get some more of the uh, industry in. Industrial. Check on the water situation, they aren't all fed with water. Let's put that network up there, and that network up there. Why is the city called Renberg? Oh. Oh, I didn't check the name change. What uh, medium demand for residential again? Just keeping an eye on the money situation at this point. Water availability in sewage is good. Electricity is okay. We're still growing, slowly but surely. We've still got money in the bank, so we're not bankrupt yet. Just neb worth the Reuben. <laughs> Another 42 people in. Demand for residential. Two, four, one, two. That one. Another residential in there and there. I used to love playing um, Sim City a lot. This would have been Sim City 2000, I think, back in the day. Fully covered with water and power, that's good. They're complaining about a lack of people. Well, let's get the people in then. Grid Systems Incorporated.
Wouldn't mind a sandwich. Thank you very much for the follow. Good, we've got power and everything else. We're making money now, folks. The money is going up. Struggling to get the staff over there. Can you have a pulse, please, with a swimming pool? I think we're a little bit away from getting houses with swimming pools or anything complicated like that. <laughs> Tell Squirrel it's pronounced, um, it's Gillingham. Unless you're, I think it's Gillingham, if it's down in Dorset, it's Gillingham if it's up here. Right. We made it to 400. Oh, I mean, we, got some, we got some cash. Let's spend cash. We've got garbage disposal and things like that that need to be dealt with, so... Get one of those bad boys in. He's got power. He'll start dealing with the garbage. Healthcare. I'm going to put that in here. Got to get to 800 to get fire and police. Use the five pounds for new power stuff. How is the hey, uh, the fire stuff doing? That's not what I want, is it? It's that one. Oh, electricity availability, aka sucks. So that's six thousand, and I can't afford that, can I? Nineteen thousand. Massive demand for residential at the moment. All right, electricity demand has come back up again. Availability is back up, but I now need more money. More money! This wind stuff is all very good, but it doesn't provide much power. I'm going to take a, uh, a loan. Tempted to just blow the whole lot and get a power station in. That'll cure the uh, brown out problem once and for all. Boom! Electric availability right up to the top. Solves all the problems in one big swoop. Yeah, demand for residential is through the roof, but my, my available cash with which to take advantage of that residential demand is um, less, less populous, shall we say. Less available.
brown out was our reference to the first city. Moggy, dear, oh dear. <laughs> Call it Nebworth 90. Oh, did you see what that truck just did? Ridiculous. Got all the power and water going, so everything going good. We've not got any problems there. Kind of got a money problem coming my way very shortly. Oh, the photocopy approved code sheets. I remember those, yeah. Lots of games had those. Didn't stop you just writing it all down, though. I guess they thought that people just wouldn't do that. Oh, it grew by 170. Ridiculous truck driving. Was it pink? Nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can you do taxes? Yeah, I could raise taxes. That'll, that'll control the demand, won't it? I realise the problem is the money making problem. Money, all the problems are of my own making. I fully expect that. I fully expect to mess about with the game and get stuff wrong and learn from that. And sometimes you have to get stuff wrong to work out how to do it right. Worthy Village, number 800. We've got money. We're not going to spend it. Oh, we're gaining money now, look. We're gaining money. Hello, we're gaining money. We can now annex new areas. Well, that's great. What I'm going to do is put another couple of commerce industries because that's starting to take off a bit now. Also get the fire and so forth again now. Not industry, no, don't make myself really unpopular. Commerce. Let's put the commerce in there and in there. Well they're still moving in at the moment. Money's still coming in at twelve hundred. Still demand for residential. Let's go ahead and get the fire department in. And before I do the police department, which is that's another twelve thousand, we're gonna have to wait a bit before we do that, but we are growing, so demand for residential still going ridiculous. residential in there. Are you on the laptop train lover? Awesome. What am I doing on water? I haven't got water here. That 
will do. There's a power there. There is. But we're still gaining money, so... Not doing bad. I'm going to sort of let the money come in a little bit now and uh, get some tea. We have a fire. Oh, I see they're putting the fire out as well. Look at this. That will learn you. Stop burning your stuff down. Oh, I haven't got water here. Fire, fire station's budget down to 50%. I don't even know what, to be honest, that does. Number of fire engines available. Apparently my uh, Sims, I guess, Sims, C-I-M's, is that what they call them? They, they apparently like to set fire things. Good night, Ninja Joker. Oh, education. Get schooling at some point. Well, I've got money. Got no money at the moment. We're still growing, though. Population eight uh, is a thousand. I guess at this point, I need to get some more roads in. Residents it up. City rules that you should only be able to drive pink cars. Totally. No demand for industrial. That's clearly doing what it wants to do. Where am I going to buy build the big IKEA? <laughs> All these people moving in, they'll have to, won't they? Space to zone for another one of those. That's because of demand for it. Let's fulfil that demand. Ah, who listens to Twitter? We're still gaining money. That's good. Let's have a look at the budget and see whether we're where we're gaining the money. Where's our expenses? So we're gaining lots from residences. Commerce is growing. Industry is fairly solid. There's still good demand for residents. High demand for residents. High medium demand for commerce. Mm -hmm. Crime rate is high. Have I got the police station or do I put the fire station in? 
medical and firehouse. Oh, I need to go to the fire police station. In. I think I need about 12 grand for the fire police station, don't I? 12 grand. Be a little while before we can have a police station. Lock your doors. Uh, ben, no, where did you... Uh, just whisper it to me now and I'll have a look now. Lots of complaints about um, crime rate at the moment. Train lover, so there's, there's, they've got this fake Twitter that's automatic. Second loan. I could look at the second loan. Yeah, that's not a bad show, actually. Oh, hello, tiny town. We've got stuff and money and fireworks. There you go. That means I can get the police station in. And school. Can I afford the school? 10,000? Yeah, why not? Still got all of that good stuff. Hey there, Plane Freak. Welcome. There's still lots of demand for residential. And commerce. Stick a commerce in there. Getting a nice stink pile in the water here, are we? <laughs> Should name this like Square Town or Hilton Keynes or something. We're still gaining money, we're still gaining people. At the moment, it's all going in the right direction. Old Globitz, uh, problem with grid cities is you waste so much money building unnecessary roads. I, I, yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of money being spent on the roads. However, it's... Um, like I said, this is a learning process for me. Figure out what works, what doesn't, what I can optimise as we go. Ooh, gaining lots of people. Unique buildings. What have we got for unique buildings? The London Eye. Gherkin. City Hall. A department store. Amsterdam Palace. Lots of stuff. And we can build canals. Starting to get demand for industry again. Nebelston City the second, because Nebelston City the first drowned in a pile of sewerage. Oops. A 
of tea time. Starting to get a major demand for commerce now, wow. Firstly, he went bankrupt and uh, yeah, drowned in its own sewage. It wasn't a pretty sight, to be perfectly honest. Matt, your chair is mixed in with the green screen. Well, it's there, yeah, but it's got like a, a meshed back to it, so it kind of looks strange. I'm going to get a new chair which doesn't have this big back on it, so that it's just not there. I mean, it's broken as well, this chair. Don't really need new land at the moment. Just seems kind of unnecessary. What I need is money. Lots of glorious money. See you later, White Mead. Thanks for stopping in. Ooh, money's up to 3,200 positive. Zone up, got massive demand for residential now. Crikey. I haven't got water there. What's my water situation? Water availability is going down. The situation now, I think where I can put the fire bill back up again. Does the city have an external bail link? No, not yet. The city is frankly a bit pants at the minute. What do I need for that? 3,500. Well, we're going by, that, by about that much, so we're getting there. Low happiness! Ooh! Rubbish mere! What is the water situation at the moment? It's not bad. We're still in the green, so it's not desperate yet. Why is everyone low happiness? How do I find out about happiness? What's going on with that? I clicked on it and they went up. If I keep clicking on them, they keep going up. There you go, they're going up. Yay! Why are you unhappy? Because you've got nobody in there. Is there a key telling me what these... I know they're shaded for some reason, but I don't know why. Parks, cinemas and McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> uh, Ecthelion, Silver Star, lowest speed, usually helps raise it to get money. Yeah, that's true, actually. I could speed it up. I'm wary of speeding it up too much and then actually... Looks like New York. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Uh, 
think some of these are just going round and round for the fun of it, aren't they? Donut truck for the win. This is dangerous. I'm glad I don't live here. Look at this, just driving in front of pedestrians. Oh, look at this! <laughs> Here it is, just an accident waiting to happen, this place. Industry! We need industry. There are pink cars in the game, officially, yes. There's some more industry in. That's not what I wanted. Right. everything with water. Uh, put the crossbars in. <laughs> Says we're never happy to get an Irish bar, yeah really. up there. Oh, we're at 2,000. 2,000 peeps! Slick Gamble, you can have any care you can find in the workshop. Use advanced vehicle options to force any of those vehicles to form. Oh, nice. <laughs> any car. So we could just have pink cars in the uh, in my town. I'm a fan of that idea. Right. Residences. I'm going to miss these ones in the middle out for reasons. Maybe there. There you go, folks. You wanted a park, you've got park now. Shut up. All right. Make it a mere muggy rule, pink cars only. <laughs> Next big project, railways. Yeah, I haven't even got the foggiest clue how that's going to work. Water situation is getting a bit desperate. I need another one of those at 3500. So let's wait until we get some money in. Boom town! can make transport and buses. Recycling. Cloverleaf intersections, three-way intersections. Cemetery. We need a cemetery. 
I remember what went happened last time. We did not have a cemetery. It was not pretty. Where do I find the cemetery? Is that in here? Oh, here we go. High school, university, that's those. Health. Cemetery! We've got a cemetery, folks. Yes. That, um, I think that was been on the verge of becoming our undoing in the last one. Why are you complaining about water? Oh, water availability's got to an all-time all low. So let's put some water availability... Um, here and hook it up. And then we need to power that sucker. It's powered. Awesome. Water problems going away. We've got 31 grand in the bank now. got good demand for commerce at the moment. I think it's fairly safe to say this is going better than the first game I had. Oh, what's that all about? zones in there and then bring those ones across and get some more residences in First time player city failure is practically mandatory ritual. Well, absolutely, and I'm, I mean to be honest, this is failing in a number of ways. Um, it's six, it's failing in fewer ways, um, which is a good step in the right direction. But yeah, it's still going to fail, and I'm sure the first time that I do a uh, a railway or some sort of public transport, I'm going to run into some problems. But you know what? That's fine. Failing is allowed. reanimation program, yeah. park in the middle around the town square. Well I've got a park sort of I've got one there and I've got one there. Money's not going up by quite so much though, that's not so good. I would have thought money would have been going faster and faster if it was working. Failing is the new succeeding, absolutely. Failing leads to success. Su excessive failing leads to excessive success. I can't say that when you're tipsy, I'll tell you. 
you didn't do nice city planning to about 200 hours. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, I know exactly how it was like when I was playing SimCity. It took a long time when I played. This is SimCity 2000, back when I was at uni. Um, and, and I got to a point where I knew exactly how to make, make it all to where it would all work. I could lay it out correctly. And I could grow the city as big as I want and never have any problems. But it took me a long time to get there. Time I possibly should have spent, you know, studying, but never mind. University, etc. Industry. That pipe being bent really annoys you. <laughs> uh. What a great city! I would think I'm dreaming if I didn't know otherwise. Well, pff, you know. Please can do a series. How do you mean, Ronald Gaming? This will be my second video that goes up to YouTube on this. The first one I don't think is up yet. I'm enjoying it actually. This was bought for me by one of the viewers, PJT1974. I've been really tempted to buy it for quite some time and I just hadn't got around to it. Always other things to spend money on or play or... So yeah, I was really grateful when Phil bought it. Ed, is this a city I made on stream? No, this is another one. I started a fresh one. In fact, I started two fresh ones, and the previous one, which was uh, lasted very, very little in indeed, um, had a major problem and um, drowned in sewage. So we started again, swiftly. So this is technically my third city, but the less said about the second one, the better. Oh dear, starting to get a bit of a problem. <laughs> Look at the backlog. <laughs> uh, okay, so the fail begins now. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> uh, sewage is there, look. I'm not using the um, the ocean water though. I'm using water towers. Electricity, we're starting to have run into major problems on electricity. I could put one of those down, put an advanced wind turbine in. Must be placed on water. Oh, okay. Well, I could do that. Put that there. Um, and then I hook up no that to the mains. That should give me a boost on power. It did. Win! Yeah, there's no traffic lights on here, they're just stopping. You know, for no apparent reason. That's becoming a major problem. What I might do is create a shortcut from there to there. See if that encourages traffic that way around.
adding relief lanes. Oh, that's a neat idea, yeah. That's essentially what I've done by adding this, isn't it? So if anyone coming in that way, anyone coming from in here, down here, shouldn't be using that anymore. They can come in this way. Oh, it's all cleared up. Lots of requests for industry. Well, let's give them what they're asking for, folks. Back up to 14 grand. No! Oh, wait. It's going to be difficult. Water and all the uh, all the appropriate services. Excellent, eh? That grid layout might turn into a headache. I'm sure it will. This is this is very much short term, Mister. I'm sure it is. It's going to cause me a problem later on. And what I'll do is I'll see that problem and I'll come up with a way of solving it and rebuild another city like that. I'm certainly not planning on building something that I want to treasure and, and keep going for uh, my time in the game. We're allowing a larger plot. Well, see, the plots are only ever four blocks away from the road. And I'm allowing, essentially, a 4x4, four four, sorry, an 8x8 eight eight grid, which, in theory, is the maximum you can have, as far as I understand it. Uh, how are we doing on water? Okay, power. Yeah, it's not fabulous. I kind of need another, another one of these. Oh, that's going to be. I'm going to wait till I get a bit more money before we put that in. Four by eight. Is it four by eight? Eight by eight. It's an eight by eight block. Still a lot of demand for residential. We're still growing. 70, 65. 8 by 32. Well, no, because you can only... It's got to be road and then four blocks. And that's as far as it will go back. So if you then go the other side and put a road and four blocks so they join in the middle, that's eight. Four by four blocks are very inefficient. I know, I appreciate it's inefficient. What I don't understand is, is at the moment, how to make efficient use of the space. What I've been doing is watching some YouTube videos and getting ideas. I mean, this concept was one of the videos that I looked at, and I was keen to have a play with it and see how I got on with it. So far, it's working better than my last attempt, quite considerably. Right, now I need to fix the power problem, I think. Hopefully that will... Uh... Whoop, power problem resolved. Got demand for commerce. I've got demand for everything. I want to live in your city. Ah. Right, let's get commerce zones in there, there, there. Oh, hello, lady. I'm gonna cuddle. Oh, there you are. You gonna say hello to everybody again? Now you're not looking for food, hmm? 
my blowfault moment. Hmm. <laughs> yes, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Okay, maybe I don't. <clears throat> Longer, thinner strips. Oh, that's not a bad idea, Red, actually, yeah. There's no reason why I couldn't actually have eight wide and go down. I don't have to put it in every four, do I? That's not a bad shout. I could try that over here and see what happens. You had, uh, you had your town had a great dying the other day. It went from 76k to 50k in under 10 minutes. Oh yeah, it's so easy though, isn't it? 8 by 32. Yes, I see what you mean, Simon. I see what you mean. I get it now. So let's try that. Let's expand this all the way over here. Do a eight. So that's four. That one. And then instead of putting the cross beams in, I'm just going to keep going up. And just zone that whole sucker industry. That's four. Check on um, resources and so forth in a moment. Got water over there. V Lexington, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. No demand for anything at the moment. Presumably that's because I've got unused areas at the minute. The number of hush posh patients not went from 1k to 10k. <laughs> Nightmare of a junction now. Demand for commerce is going back up. Have a look at the uh, what we got here. Patients treated, no, none. Fire engine you use, none. I have no idea where the police station went. Police station's in here somewhere. That's the park. Visitors, 33. That feels underused. I asked, you asked for a park. 42. I guess it's eight, eight watts it's a week, so.
click the police icon and it highlights it. Oh yeah, there he is. Good shout, that man. No, that's the firehouse. I clicked the firehouse, didn't I? <laughs> Fire station. Criminals in holding cell, 13. Police cars in use, 9 out of 10. Wow, you bunch of crims. See you later, train boy. Right, power is good, water is less good, garbage is not bad, but we're going to get to start being bad at some point soon. What's going on there? Did I not zone them? No, I didn't zone them. That's why I was going to put other services in there. I decided not to. What can I say? Everything else okay? Put the industry near the water so you can put docks, etc. Oh, that's not bad at all. Same, I built it a long way from the water. <laughs> How can you see what the next milestone is? That's that, that's fine, but... Yeah, how can you find out what the next milestone is? Ah, oh, milestones, here we go. Got to get to 4,200 to be a busy town. Well, the roundabout seems to have quietened down a bit. The cars seem to be using alternative routes now. Is there a tractor on my road? Get off my road, you tractor. Put it on a lorry and do it properly. Think about additional water source soon. What sunrise? There hasn't been a sunrise yet. What are you talking about, sunrise?
my streaming tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I need to talk to the kids, find out what they want to do. I know Victoria wants me to take her down towards some tennis courts. So I'm going to have to do that. That was one of my farm employees from Farm Sim. Wow. I guess I could forgive that then. <laughs> got demand for resident uh, for industrial again these guys have got demand for people how was the school system doing variably badly there I think make sure it's got all of its resources it needs right can now get people educated some more uh, after Minecraft tomorrow Ed is um, human fall flat Maybe we'll finish it, I don't know. Given I've no idea how much time we've got left. It'll be such a little bit. The level I've just started is the last one and we'll be ten minutes and we'll be done. <laughs> don't put too many schools or they won't be educated. Oh that's an interesting view. Yeah, okay. Oh, speaking of sunrise. Not enough educated workers. Well, you know what? Put schools in. Busy town! Highways with sound barriers, four lane highways, fire station, oil plant. Oh, that's nice. Police headquarters and a hospital. Right, we're at 4218, we've got 55k in the bank. We are doing not too badly. Lots of demand for industry. Let's put another one, another row in then. Oops, keep forgetting right click. It does other things that I don't necessarily want it to. That'll upset it. Oh dear, that'll upset it. Right, water's into a situation now. Let's get another water thingy in. Sewage is needing a bit of a uh, a bit of work. Oh, that's looking just beautiful, isn't it? Can you just imagine what that brown is? Can you just? Oh no, don't imagine too much what that brown is. Is it 
got power now. Ground pollution is close. Oh, I said I didn't think about that. That's a good shout. That's ground pollution, isn't it? <coughs> right, sewage is in a good place, water is in a good place, power is not in a terrible place. 50 grand for an oil plant, but that gives me 120 megawatts, which doubles our current production. We'll, we'll think about that as we need it. Matty, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. What I'm going to do. Oh, totally annoyed now. Short the heck out of that lot. Some more pipey stuff going on here. in the Pacific surf line. <laughs> right, what's the next milestone anyway? Big Town! We need 6,500 for Big Town. Power is not too bad. Water isn't too bad. Garbage is up to 37%. We need that incinerator, which we get with... Oh, that comes with the, um, the next major milestone. You're close to getting to iTech Joystick. Welcome, TS. How are you managing that? You written something, or have you um, found something that will do it? This game just looks beautiful, doesn't it? I want to drive on this road, these roads in Euro Truck Sim. Did you, do you remember in Sims, there was a game called Simcopter? And you could import your um, Sims 2000, I think it was, cities into Simcopter and then fly around them doing rescue missions and things. Simcopter was apparently it sold ridiculously badly. But it was one of my favourite games of all time. It was so good. Not a 
of demand going on for industrial at the moment, so we shall have to meet some of that demand. Check power, water is okay. This was definitely not Sims 4, um, because this was when I was at uni, and Sims 4 was definitely not out in Sims 4 uh, at, at that point. Still growing, still getting money. No, I'm sure it wasn't because so, SimCity 4 is, is the last one, isn't it? Let me have a quick look on Google Woogle. Yeah, SimCity 2000. SimCopter was for SimCity 2000. They did it in... They'd sim, this, the copter was in SimCity 4, was it? Oh, I wish I'd known that, because that's such a good thing. Things are upgrading. Is this because they're going to... What's all these up arrows and things going on? Upgrade underway. Oh, hello! <whistles> Mail order babies available. Uh, what? Massive demand for commerce at the moment. Take that commerce. Whoops, maybe not. Hi, bitch. What? No, I want to go that way. Power's good. Alright, we're into the yellow zone on power now, so it's time to get that oil plant in. Bang! Lots of electrics now. Not, not a lot of money though. <laughs> what are you using then, Simon, to make that work? Garbage is piled up. Do I need another garbage thing round here? Another one round here. Ooh! Ah, uh, sort of. <laughs> oh, you just passed 5,000. Excellent. So you are coding something then, using the SciTech SDK, or is there a tool that actually does it? No, there must not be. There must be something, because otherwise it's talking. How are you talking to the rail driver interface? I'm confused. Oh, fire for the win. Fire. Percentage burned down. Is anyone coming? Oh, here they come, look.
Oh, you're telling the throttle to press A and the D. I see. So you'll still want TS Connect then to do it properly. <laughs> More fiery stuff going on over here. Have I got fire protection over here? No, I don't. Oops. What is my uh, fire protection looking like? Not good in those areas. Let's put that there. Beef up the uh, public services. Oh, the fire! The fire engine brigade did turn up eventually. Is he actually doing it from inside those containers? GG. Oh, there's a bunch more coming. Yeah, probably the best firefighters you can hire. Well, you know what? This is uh, Nebleston City. Only the best. Other than the water. Don't go anywhere near the water, seriously. Not a good place. Still got demand for industry though. Strangely enough, I haven't scared them away yet. industry in there. How's that roundabout doing? Staying nice and unclogged. Bit of a... Uh, oh my word. Oh my word. Look at the clog coming off of there. Pink donut man. Look at how many cars are coming in. Crikey. Still demand for industry. Back up to ten grand though. Still making money. Hashtag making money dot com. Well, I have to say, while perhaps not the most efficient way of doing it, it's at least making money and working, and people don't seem to be too unhappy. <laughs> Giving them more routes to use.
That seems to have unlocked a bit of traffic. Wow. <laughs> What do we get to get to? 6,500, isn't it? Oh, we're not far off 6,500 now. Not really much demand for residential, and we've actually got plenty of room for residential at the moment. Certainly don't need to make more of that. But all the industry is full up. That kitty cat's wandering around again. You alright, lady? What I am wondering is, if I was to... Turn this snapping thing off because I have to say that's quite annoying. Toggle snapping. No. That's not what that is, it's just a minimum length. Yeah, snapping doesn't seem to help that, it's like it's minimum length of the road. Cutting back the road to the crossing and redo it might help. What happens to all the industries if I do that though? That's I'm not sure about. If I delete that, do I lose the industries? Oh well, let's try it. Okay, looks like not. Let's do that on this one. Create some alternative flows. Oh, this all seemed to have queued itself up now. All the traffic on there. <laughs> well, we had 6,000. Excellent. Hey, live to play. Welcome. Yeah, see the kamikaze driving on this junction. Look at this! It's almost as bad as mine. All the flow there is fixed. Still got loads of demand for industry. Alright then, fine. Make more industry then. Six grand, what do I care?
remember, I think it was in Sims, uh, Sim City. You get loads of boo whenever you knock down trees and things. <laughs> Oh yes, you might be right actually, yeah, good shout on that one. Yeah, those need to be reassigned to industry as well. How's my water? Are they going down where I need it? No, they are not. Join it up because of reasons. availability is starting to go poopy again. Oops, broke the wire. All the sewage stopped working, everything died. Are we back online again? We're back online again. Yep. How's that sewage doing? I bet that's looking really special. Oh, look at that. The beach for you, folks. The beach for you. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Demand for industry is down. Oh, we're almost at 6,500. I think when we get to 6,500, I might call it a day, actually. Wireless networks now available for free everywhere. Free the internet. Yay. Hey. 15k residents for water treatment. Yep. the fire station. That's a good point. How am I doing on protection for fire? Put that in there. Put that in there. Otherwise than that we're okay. Healthcare. that cemetery doing anyway? No deceased stored. Six four nine four folks, six four nine four, about to get it. Next milestone. Boom. Sixty five hundred. High density residential commercial office zone, incineration plant for garbage, which is useful. And we can make the university and we can start thinking about metro stations and stuff. Well, there you go, folks. That has not been an altogether total fail. Then a flood occurs, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have mass transit yet, no. I haven't figured out how to do that. So there you go, folks. We've got up to 6,500. We're growing. We've got money in the bank. Plenty of money in the bank, actually. What's the loan situation? Is that paid off yet? 21 grand to go by the looks of it. Oh, that's the total value of the loan. No, it's all paid off, look. So we've paid off our one loan. We've got 76 grand in the bank. We're earning 7,000 a month, or whatever that is. Yeah, excellent. Quite happy with that. Have you lost your wallet? No. Alright then folks, thanks very much for watching. Um, Minecraft tomorrow followed by Human Falls Flat. 
and then on Thursday and Friday train sim Thursday I'm going to follow on after train sim with Forza Friday is trucking after uh, train sim so uh, and I'll probably do this again on Tuesday next week alright there folks thanks very much and uh, I will uh, <laughs> see you later on cheers bye bye thanks for the follow Italian Silver Star much appreciated